COVID-19 has proven to drastically change many people's lives. Many universities have moved completely online and in-person activities have been canceled until further notice. However, Montclair State University singers did not let this pandemic stop them. The singers were able to practice twice a week in a physical environment, perform at two retreats, and were still able to share their love of music together. But how were they able to achieve all of this while in the middle of a global pandemic? Heather Buchanan, the director of choral activities, spent the majority of her summer figuring out how is she going to execute this plan to hold university singers in person. We acknowledged right from the get-go that how we were going to do it was going to need to be different for everybody. The singers were able to get together safely each week and were able to do it right. The sixth floor of Red Hawk Deck, a parking garage, became their rehearsal space. A very unique and different type of rehearsal space, yet they made it work for them. Singers spread out six feet apart, all wearing masks, and still getting to do what they love, sing. They stood out so much that many media outlets reached out and wanted to get coverage of their story. ABC7, News 12, The Today Show, The Kelly Clarkson Show, and CBS News all wanted to get a piece of the action. We're making history, we're experimenting. There is a freedom in that. And it's, it's actually really lovely to just walk into rehearsal and think, okay, what are we gonna try today? And we do. And we very quickly, we figured out that we can be artists. With all the regulations and rules, Dr. Buchanan was still able to achieve the goal that many choirs could not. We're, we're having a chance to explore and try things that we normally could not. The singers have proven each week how dedicated they are to sing all together, even under these unprecedented times. At the heart of it is the why. Why do we do what we do? It's about creating community, it's about connection, and it's about service through music. So even though the how and the what has had to change, you know, the process, and the product that we we typically do, what hasn't changed is the why and the need to focus on our people. The people included in University Singers are very driven, passionate, and inclusive to many other communities, such as the deaf community. Singers and signers Harrison Smith and Jessica Karasik passionately took the stage to sign and perform the song Ain't No Grave Can Hold Me Down. Accessibility in theater and accessibility in performance is so important to get, um, to reach the largest audience that you possibly can with your art. You can clearly see the focus and determination in this performance. They really try and focus on conveying the emotions from joy to pain. With ASL music, there's like a beautiful relationship and a beautiful bond that could be made between ASL and music. Sign language in itself is a form of music. There's a form of rhythm and art behind it. Harrison and Jessica also came across some obstacles when trying to translate the lyrics into ASL. With ASL, you can't translate word for word. You have to translate the meaning, which is the most important part. Student manager of University Singers, Alexa Timon, and graduate assistant for choral activities, Q Fernald, talks about the struggles and obstacles they had to overcome before welcoming the singers back to campus this fall. Well, there's definitely been uh, a lot of added logistics in terms of keeping track of where people are when, how they get into our online sessions, when we're on campus, when we're exclusively online, um, and handling uh, to make sure to, that everybody is following the best protocols to keep them safe and healthy uh, during all the, the craziness that is COVID-19. It's definitely been different um, with adjusting to all of the, the new COVID regulations and making sure everyone is, is staying safe. But honestly, it's we've found that it's so worth it. Alexa also talks about how they conducted a rehearsal during these challenging times. So rehearsal now, um, we've been in the Red Hawk parking deck on the sixth floor. Uh, we set up all of our uh, sound equipment and the, the keyboard and everything and the choir comes in their singer's resonance masks and uh, we, we sing and make it work. They also discuss how even with the new safety guidelines, they are still able to come together as a group. And despite the, those challenges of, of being, you know, covered with a mask and, and having difficulty getting to know people at a, at a deeper level, we find that the students are really responding well and I know I speak for myself and Alexa too, 
with the fact that we still are a part of a community. We still come together as a choir and we make music together, which is really an extraordinary thing, especially considering today's circumstances. The choir is just so happy and just elated to be back making music together, no matter what the circumstance is. Um, so everyone's been really willing and eager to um, adjust however we need to. Throughout the course of the semester, Dr. Buchanan has shown that she is really there for her students. Here are some of her students sharing their kind words about what a lasting impact she has made on them. She made me feel like my voice mattered um, amongst the group, even though she has 200 and something students, like she always knows how to, to make each individual feel like they matter. You know, she's certainly inspired me in a lot of ways as a, as a young artist. I definitely would not be the musician I am now if it wasn't for her mentorship and, and her influence on me. It is no surprise that this semester has been a roller coaster filled with lots of obstacles to overcome. In the end, the singers were able to connect and come together on a level they never would have expected. University singers would not be who they are today without the motivation and support they get from Dr. Buchanan. This group of 70 singers really proved that it's not just about showing up and putting on a performance. It's about the bonds and connections they get to make through the music they sing. Jesus!